introduce your character has a really interesting arc. Who, who are you in the beginning of the film when we first meet you? Who, what's happening in your life? Um, well, Jennifer is sort of the, the quintessential 90s teenage girl, and she's sort of very, um, she's very California and very uh, concerned with fitting in and conforming to, you know, the sort of normal teenage lifestyle. And sort of when she, she sort of, when she gets into the 50s Pleasantville world, it's sort of about how she finds her intellect and, and realizes that she can be defined by that rather than her sexuality and her surface appearance. Now, how, are, how is the 50s different from, from the 90s that this can happen? Um, well, I think in a certain sense in this different kind of world, it's not just the 50s, it's 50s television. Um, so you, you kind of get, she gets to define her own character more. And I think she finds in herself, which is kind of ironic, in this place that, um, you know, that is sort of the 50s, which was different for women, uh, she finds that she can go to school and she can read books there. And knowledge is, um, knowledge brings you power. Knowledge brings you color. And uh, I think that's sort of the difference in Pleasantville. It's about, um, you know, really finding knowledge through books and through finding your own identity and passion. Like you said, it's not, it, it's not necessarily the 50s, but it's a TV version of the 50s. Right. Can you, could you elaborate on that? What, what is that, especially for foreign audiences, what does that mean? Well, 50s television was sort of um, really only representative of a certain group of American culture at the time in the 50s, which was sort of white, middle-class, suburban America, which was also portrayed as sort of perfect families, you know, two kids, two parents, one dog, nice house, picket fence, teeny tiny community where you walk around and say hello to everybody because you know everyone. And it was sort of not really representative of what was going on in the 50s at that time. I think it was sort of um, kind of the way people wanted to look at the 50s or, or at their culture at that time rather than see all the sort of social turmoil that was really going on in the world at that time. You know, in, uh, sex has a special place in both realities. Uh, what, what, can you explain the difference of what, how sex is used in, in, in two different realities? Well, I think um, sex, as defined by Jennifer in the 90s through her character, is sort of a definition of who you are as a woman or who you are as a person. She really finds her identity through, you know, turning boys on or, you know, putting them off and, and sort of how she gets her power. Um, but the 50s, I think she realizes that, um, it, well, not the 50s, but the Pleasantville reality, uh, sex is, is more you become defined by your passion. And if you have passion in that area, that's what sort of turns you to color. But if you have passion in another area, say your intellect, as Jennifer comes to understand, that was her passion, and that's what turns her ultimately to color. And it's not about sex, because that's not where her passion lies. But we're talking about a world where there is no bathrooms, there is no sex. I mean, uh, what, is, what is this world, Pleasantville? I th well, Pleasantville is essentially what, where you would be if you were sort of in the consciousness of a 50s television mind. I mean, if you could think that way and, and, and be that pure, or be that naive, or be that innocent of the world. I think we look on that, that time in the 50s and say, oh, it was so great, we were all so innocent and pure. But really, um, that, that wasn't, it, it was more about ignorance and not looking at reality, not wanting to face what was really happening with racism and segregation and, you know, things like that. You know, using, the, using color as, is it, is it loss of innocence? What is, when, when, does, when does color enter? I think, um, well, I, Gary uses color as a metaphor in the film. Uh, in, in my own interpretation to represent finding your identity or finding your passion or finding yourself. Um, these people really have no idea who they are as people and as they, s and each person finds and turns to color through different means. Some people get angry and turn to color and some people, I, my character reads a book and or reads more than one book and turns to color. Um, so it's really about finding something inside you that that really brings out your personality and who you are.